candy girl feeling it. See, cause it matches. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Candy, and today we are going to be doing this nice, lovely, orangey fall pumpkin kind of look. I wanted to keep this look really kind of like a soft fall, like glam as far as the eyes go. And then when we got to the lips, I was pretty surprised on two lipsticks as their color payout was really intense. Anywho, I'm gonna stop rambling on and let's just go ahead and jump into this thing, guys. Hey, 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 hey! So I'm coming to you guys with an actual complete face as well as brows. We're gonna jump in with my favorite concealer and we're just gonna go ahead and blend that out with my finger. For the main transition shade and blending shade, we're going to be using the Colored Rain Whirl Prerogative shade, and this is from their Queen of Hearts palette. And now we're going to go ahead and create that cut crease. And we're going to be using the palette Born to Run from Urban Decay. And within that palette, we're first going to go into the shade called Accelerate, and we're going to press that all over the entire lid here. Now that we have the entire lid completed, we're going to use the opposite side of my brush and we're going to be using this shade which is called Ignite. And we're going to place that directly in the middle just giving that some great highlight. And now with that same brush, we're going to go ahead and just blend out the outer corner with the same transition shade. And now that that is done, we're going to go in now use my favorite mascara. This is the Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit Cosmetics. And then we're going to be using this pencil. This is from NYX and this is called Life's a Beach. And we're going to go ahead and just place that on my lower lash line. And I apologize I forgot to get a shot of this but we're going to be using the orange shade in the palette. This is Baja. And we're going to basically smoke out that bottom line and then we're going to blend everything again with that same transition shade from Color Rain. Once everything has been blended out, we're going to use the mascara again to define my lashes. And then we're actually going to pop on some bomb ass lashes. Y'all already know I use these ones a lot. These are my fave. This is Bast from Goddess Collection. And to clear up that band, we're going to be using the Wet n Wild H2O Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Black. To give myself a little bit more orange, we're going to use this blush from NYX and this is in the shade Double Dare. We're just going to go ahead and apply that to my cheeks and then blend it upwards. And now for the final portion, we're going to go in with the lips. We're first using this shade here. This is from ColourPop. And this is their ultra matte lip. This is in the shade What the Stitch. And this has to be like the perfect like pumpkin-y lipstick that I've ever seen. Like seriously. And now to give my lips a <laughs> intense version of this color. It's this very glossy and I won this in a competition. So this is um, from Boxum. This is their Vava Plump Shiny Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Heat Wave. This is a super intense, super orangey color. I was not expecting it to look like that. But um, you could either wear one by itself or together like this. And yeah, I'm going to stop rambling, guys, and let's get back to that video. Well, guys, that is the end of the tutorial. Um, I want to apologize. I did remove this lipstick, as you can tell. Um, I was pretty surprised on the payout of this lipstick. Um... That was bold as mug, and I wasn't really trying to wear that. So, off camera, I went ahead and removed that. So, like normal, when I do my ombre lips, that you guys see me in many of my tutorials, um, I use the MAC Cosmetic Lip Pencil in the shade um, Chestnut. I use two of the orange lipsticks, the ColourPop one, and then I also mixed it in with the Smashbox. I know you guys see me use this 
in one of my hauls I did like a while ago. But yeah, it actually did help out with the payout as far as the orange goes. So I'm sorry I didn't show you. I didn't really think about it until out there. I was in. I was like, I probably should have filmed it. So that's my bad. My bad. But besides that, how did you like the tutorial? I hope it was simple and quick for you guys. I really wanted to keep it like super fall but like you still got that pop like mm -hmm. anyway you guys let me know how you feel about this look um if you're my candy babes thank you so much guys for coming back and watching this tutorial if you are new i hope you did enjoy it thanks for watching guys i appreciate your love and support you guys are amazing thank you again and um i'll catch you guys on one all right peace